Anonymous Garcia. Rad is what I go by. Watch, catch me on Fan TV, and I'll be fighting at Dragon House 14. Fighting uh, out of Tumbley's MMA in uh, San Jose. Uh, I'm picking 25, 35, whoever will take a fight against me. I'm ready to take a fight against him. Had a pretty decent amateur career. Won um, multiple titles. California title, Nevada title. And, um, won belts down in San Diego. I mean, um, I just want to get in the cage and I'm the first pro they do. Been on several cards. Can't get a fighter to stay on the card with. Um, one thing I want to say is, um, whoever's out there, 135, 125, please. If you're looking for a fight, you can fight me. I'll take you. I'll take any of them. All of them. Because I feel like they all must fall. All of them. So, tell us a little bit about how you got started in uh, MMA. What uh, inspired you? I got started about three years ago. A friend of mine at work was telling me about cage fighting. Joking around. I grew up playing baseball. And I just wanted to make sure it was legit. I was like, it's not going to be police running in there. Throwing it down. It's like, nah, it's legal. Went to a gym, started training, liked it, had my first pro fight, I lost at the end, got tired, didn't realize how bad it was, didn't lose since then, nine wins in a row, looking for a... So, how long have you been training at Kung, uh, Kung Lee's uh, camp? I've been there for two and a half years, training, we do sand shao, so I guess I'm a sand shao fighter, because I grew up as a baseball player, but I feel like athlete to athlete, I mean I swing the bat like I threw my punch, hit them, they fall, and then I get my hand raised. And tell us about maybe like um, how they can find you or do you have Facebook, Twitter? Yeah. I got a Facebook account, uh, Miami Boy Rad. And on Twitter, it's Rad underscore Garcia 135. It's Boy Rad Garcia Ush. You can find Rad Garcia Ush on Twitter.